Hi guys, welcome to the video. Thanks very much for the love and support on the last football one. We're back in the theater of dreams. Uh, I think that video got uh, something like 20K views in 48 hours, so why not give you guys more of what you want? So today is gonna to be all about how you can improve your footwork on, on and off the ball, your speed, your agility, and I'm also gonna give you my 10 favorite ball mastery skills and something that you guys can do at home. But as you can see, we've got the socks over there as cones. All you need is a ball and let's get straight onto it and have some fun. All right guys, ball mastery. Let's get straight on into it. Um, this is something that you guys can do at home. Like I said, you just need a two by two area. I put down some socks as cones. Let's get into it. So the first one we're gonna do is just a simple one. Drag with the right, outside the left. Drag with the right, outside the left. So quicker, looks like this. This is a really good one just to get the feet moving. All the drills we're doing are game realistic. So sometimes in a game, I put the bot, the, my foot on the ball, a defender's coming in, and I want to take it away from him, out the other side. Take it away from him, out the other side. It also helps to warm up the feet. You slow it down to make it easier, and then once you get it, start quickening it up. You can move around the box. Come forward. So the second one is inside, inside, soul roll. So I'm gonna go inside, inside, soul roll, inside, inside, soul roll, inside, inside, soul roll. So you start off slow, you can bring it in more narrow, and then the quicker you get it. A really good one for 1v1. I'll go for roughly about a minute for each exercise. So the third one is gonna be inside, inside, outside, drag back in. Inside, inside, outside, drag back in. Inside, inside, outside, drag back in. And by this point, once you start quicking it up, you should be out of breath. Try and work game pace. Start taking it in different directions. This is good for when a defender is coming towards me. I tempt him with the ball and then I'm bringing it back in. Tempt him with the ball, bring it back in. Bring it back in. So number four, we're gonna concentrate on one foot only. Sometimes I struggle, especially on my left foot, with a 90 degree turn. So this one, we're gonna concentrate solely on one side, then we're gonna switch to the other. So the ball's gonna start here, we're gonna do a 90 degree, roll back in, touch. 90 degree, roll back in, touch. So this is a good one for pressures coming towards me. Exactly, you're the defender, and I'm doing a 90 degree turn, and then you think I'm going this way, and then I'm dragging it back the other way. Fantastic exercise for beating a defender 1v1. When I've done about a minute on that side, switch to the other side. Like I said, a little bit more difficult on my weaker foot. Start off slow. And then quicken it up once you get it. Defender's coming in, bring it back. It's also a good one for when a second defender's coming in. Sometimes as a midfielder, you're in the position where you have to beat one defender, you've beaten him, and another one's coming, and you've got to beat him as well. So that's why I'm doing this, bringing it back in. All the time, I'm trying to keep it close to my body, away from the defender. Number five is a little combination of number two, which was the inside-inside soul roll, with the one we just did, concentrating on the 90 degree turn. So 
We're gonna go inside, inside, outside, 90 degree, bring it back in. Inside, inside, outside, 90 degree, bring it back in. Inside, inside, outside, back it in. Once again, we're working on one side, then we'll change to the other. So just slow it down again. Inside, inside, outside, 90 degree, bring it back in. So try and make it game realistic, you should be out of breath. And then change to the other side. So this time inside with the left, outside, 90 degree, back in. If you want, change the angle. So if I'm on the touch line, for example, imagine this is the touch line. I'm gonna do a defender like this, inside, inside, outside, think I'm going down the line, come back in, out the other side. So it looks like this. Inside, inside, outside. Come out the other side. So on to number six. As you can see, I'm starting to sweat. Like I said before, all these drills are game realistic. For me, there's no point in doing something that you wouldn't do in a game. So they're all game realistic, working at a high tempo, and as you can see, beads of sweat. So let's get on into number six. Push with the right, drag back in, out the left, drag back in, inside right. So it looks like this. And if you want a bit of a rest, you can just rest and do this. And then straight back into it, we go. And then moving on to the left side. Outside, back in, outside, right, inside. When you push, pull back in, outside the right, and then when you drag it in here, open up them hips, out with the left. Okay, numero siete. We're gonna be working on, as if I'm receiving the ball here, I'm gonna go outside, outside, chop, inside, inside, chop. Outside, outside, chop, inside, inside, chop. Now the reason I'm doing this is because imagine receiving the ball. You could be a right back, you could be a center mid, you could be any position, even a center back from the goalkeeper. You look forward, pressure's coming in from a defender, chop. And then you look back, back, no options, you have to chop again. So this is all, again, game realistic situation. I'm gonna go outside, outside, chop. No options, chop. Chop. No options, chop. Chop. And what's really important in this one is to put disguise on it. So if I do a chop and I just go like this, the defender's not gonna get beaten with that. So. Outside, outside, disguise, chop, disguise. And then we'll work on the other side. Outside, outside, chop, inside, inside, chop. Again, keeping the ball close is important. So if I was to go outside, outside, chop, the ball's too far away from me. It's gonna get a defender, so. When I go outside, outside, chop, keep it close to me. Inside, inside, chop. So once again, I'm out of breath, I'm panting. We're gonna go into number eight. So we're gonna go inside, outside, step. Inside, outside, step. So similar to the last one, concentrate on keeping it close. No options, another skill move to get out of it. Inside, outside. Step, inside, outside, step. And it's okay as well if you chop here, take another touch and set yourself. So we'll move on to the other side. So we have step with the right, inside, outside, step with the right. So you see on that one there, my touch wasn't good enough. 
because I kept it too close to me. I had nowhere to go and the ball was underneath me. So it's a very fine line between taking a touch too far and then taking a touch that's perfect. So once again, inside, outside, step. Number nine is gonna be similar to the last one we did, except we're gonna step the other way. So we're gonna start with a scissor. So you're gonna scissor the ball with your right, outside left, drag back in, start with the right. Scissor left, step, back in, stop. Scissor right. Now this is another good one for creating space for yourself in the middle. So around the 360, you've got a player coming in, step, out, back in, stop. Step, out, back in, stop. Step, out, back in, stop. And you can also vary up. Sometimes you can go with the right, come back in, stop, go with the right again, come back in. But sometimes you might need to do that twice in a game. What's also important as well is if I can keep my foot close to the ball, if I step over too far, I'm sort of off balance. If I can keep it close, out, back in, stop. Close, out. So the final one, I've saved it to last. Uh, anyone that remembers JJ Kotcha, uh, this is his skill. So. Similar to number two again, we're gonna go inside, inside, roll, step over, face the other way. Inside, inside, roll, step, face the other way. And then you can change the opposite way and go with the left. One thing that's important with this one as well is take a little check over the shoulder. So inside, inside check this way because when you turn in a game and you're checking you're changing your whole body 180 so you need to know what's that way so if I'm doing it on my right side little check up, little check up. change to the left So that's the 10 ball mastery exercises. Now we're gonna move on to some ladders and I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate socks. You don't need the ladder gates, you can just use socks. We're gonna do some fast footwork, how you can improve your speed on and off the ball. So some exercises for you to do at home. And like I said, not much equipment, not much area, anyone can do this. So guys, you can see I've set out the socks, similar to how you would a ladder drill. You don't have to buy anything expensive for this. You can do it all yourself. We're gonna do some drills that we do as professional footballers, uh, as warm-ups, with and without the ball. And it's all about quick contacts on the ground, improving that footwork, improving the speed, the agility. So let's get into it. Yeah, out of the darkness I rose up. Gold in my soul, it's a gold rush. Yeah, yeah. Honor and freedom, my toes stuck Kicking game on the snare drum Hard on the beat, let it bleed out like sacrifices Cut it open, emotions Spilling like oil and coasting Therapy for my mental, I'm pinning a pistol And shoot down the criticisms Individually, I heard the voices that told us Yeah, yeah Throw dirt on my name and wish me the worst and scold us, yeah Shot through the heart and pray on my downfall But young T prevailed on my outlaw Stand on top of the table like John Wall Got the cross on my chest like Olympic gold Rap it smooth on the floor like a jazz song Witness greatness, look up in LeBron home Remember next time for you doubt us That only made me go John Jones HGH, I got the shortcut Got on my side, you got bad luck Look at how they all doubt us, how they doubt us, yeah Alright guys, so now we've done the SAQ, the speed and agility, um, without the ball, we're now going to incorporate with the ball. So the same methods of practice, so we're going to fast feet, fast contacts on the ground, but also keeping the ball close to us, using the ball mastery that we did in the warm up, and then taking the speed and agility we just did, using it with the ball. So the first one we're going to do is we're just going to be focusing on the right foot. So you can go inside, outside, soul roll. Once again, using all the drills we did in the mastery. So, right foot only.
and you can change your body shape. Almost done the right, on to the left now. Like I said, left's a little bit more difficult. So once again, out of breath, it's high intensity. If you want to take a rest, take a rest. But everything we're doing is trying to be at game pace. Another point is, don't always have to be facing forward or facing back. Try and make it fluid. Sometimes bring it in, face this way, soul roll. Then you can turn to the other way. Doesn't matter if you touch the socks as well. Like I said, left is much more difficult. Using the ball mastery we just did. So now we've done the right, we now did the left. Now try and incorporate both. So, try and again be fluid with it, make it game realistic. So this is going to be the last one on the SAQ one with the ball and I think personally as a player you see Neymar do a lot of it, you see Messi do a lot of it but controlling the ball and using it with the sole of the foot is so important. You know it can get you out of a lot of trouble so I'm going to work on just the sole rolls at the moment and I'm going to start off slow then I'm going to quicken it up and I'm going to do a speed, uh, speed test, I'm going to time my score and then you see if you guys can beat it. So start off slow, sole rolls. this side and then you finish when they stop the ball saw your foot at the end so I'm gonna time it and let you know my score I've got my phone as soon as I start moving I'm gonna press start go through it and then as soon as I get to this side ball on my foot press stop show you the time see if you can guys can beat it these are eight socks in a row with about I'm a size 10 US so with one and a half feet in between is the suck. So, start the ball here. Three, two, one, go. Eight point nine two. Comment down below with your times or tag me on Instagram. Let's see what you can do. So guys, going to finish with a couple of challenges for you, similar to the, uh, the last one we did with the sole roll. This one is going to be a technique challenge. So we're going to do keep ups with the ball, the ball cannot bounce. I'm going to go right foot, left foot, right thigh, left thigh, right shoulder, left shoulder, head. Now usually when you've seen this online before, people head it and then they catch it and that they're finished. But I'm going to go one step further and you head it and you have to try and control the ball on your foot like that, and that's when you finish. So for the final challenge, we're gonna do a crossbar challenge with a little twist. Any target you got at home, 
but if you set a water bottle on it and I'm gonna be hitting five balls from there over there and see how many goes it takes for you to hit the water bottle off the crossbar okay so here's the challenge I've lined five balls up here I'm gonna hit the first one if I miss the first one move on to the second one see how many it takes me to hit the water bottle First try. <laughs> no way, no way. Let me, let's see it, let's see if it hit. Comment down below if you think that hit the bottle first or the crossbar first. So on the first attempt, I personally think that it just hit the crossbar before the bottle, so we're gonna do it again. So once again, I've lined the five balls up. I'm gonna hit the first one. Second try. Tag me on Instagram, at JackBlake underscore 94. Show me your videos. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I sure have. Um, let me know in the comments section down below what you'd like to see me do, any exercises you'd like to see me do, or certain specific drills. And I'll see you guys on the next video.